All right. Uh, where are we here? You want to take us to Patricia, John? Yeah, okay. Uh, friends, what's going on here? Uh, 10.15.7 in iMac and Safari 14.1. When I opened Google Maps yesterday, I got a greatly magnified version that is just not workable. Everything is enlarged. And the same goes for using Google Search. Zoom does not improve the text situation. I can open the same pages in Chrome and text and images are as they should be. All of the pages in Safari load correctly. Is um, It's only Google that's reacting this way. I've done restarts, close Safari, check system preferences, but it all comes down to Google not playing nice at all in Safari. Um, currently unusable. Is there a setting somewhere I'm missing or is Google once again broken with the latest update? Uh, no. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't think Google's broken. <laughs> yeah, no, it worked fine for me, but I'll tell you where to look because actually I was having a problem with a, with a financial site. It just wouldn't let me log in. Mm. Um, or we keep going in circles. Um, yeah, bringing me back to the uh, the login page. Um, once I had or last pass it entered my credentials and I'm like, oh, I said keep going in circles. Um I then remember that at some point I said, remember me. So what I think is it did it is it planted a cookie. Um, so here's what I think you, I think it may be a, a corrupt cookie or other piece of data stored in the browser. So here's where you go. Safari, preferences, privacy, manage website data. You will then see a list of all the data that is stored for each of the sites that you have visited. Um, so I type in Google and whack all of that data. Um, that this worked for me, this solved my login problem by, by whacking, um, the, uh, all of the data stored, um, that the site had stored in the past. I like it. That's great.